Welcome back to Sovereignty of Galilee, DSMME. And today we're going to have a little reflection on this beautiful quote from the great English apologist and in many ways kind of a theologian, certainly an author, a poet, an artist, a philosopher. We could go on and on and on about the great G.K. Chesterton. But this is a quote that I found and I wanted to share this uh, with you today. Each generation is converted by the saint who contradicts it the most. Now you might say, why is it converted by a contradiction? Because the contradiction, as we all know, is the cross. The cross is the contradiction. It doesn't all go in one direction, does it? How nice if life did. We also have this continuum going on. And so these two become the battle and then they form what we call the cross or the paradox or the difficulties that come into our life. Now, each generation is formed most by the saint who contradicts it the most. Why? Because as we all know, gravity pulls down. Benedict XVI has a whole beautiful meditation on how the forces in this world will pull us down. The gravity will pull us down. That if we let go, we will fall. That the only way to rise is to keep climbing. That is a contradiction, isn't it? Why don't we just let go and fall? Because that's what the forces of nature want us to do anyway. That's the way that the world was created so that we would fall down to the center because that's not where Christ is found. Christ is found in the contradiction of the cross. He is found in constantly trying to place ourselves more and more in union with that cross. And so if we look at the saints in our own lives, and yes, you know saints, you better know saints. In fact, you better be on your own way to sanctity. So if we look at the saints in our own lives, the people who have influenced us the most to truly love God, what would we say? Almost all of us would say, there was a time of great suffering and they bore that suffering with great patience and zeal and faith. What does that mean? That anybody can be a saint on a wimpy day, can't they? Oh yeah, right, easy, yeah, okay. But when the cross comes, that contradiction, and G.K. Chesterton talks about how the points of the cross go out forever. A circle is very encompassed, but the cross goes on forever. In interesting point. Again, the cross comes in many different disguises, in many different ways, in many different times. Sometimes when we least expect it, sometimes we can kind of see it coming, looming its way towards us. Sometimes we can anticipate, sometimes again, we are surprised. But whatever way the cross comes, it's a call to holiness. And people without faith cannot pick it up and carry it. They just collapse underneath it and they don't get back up again. So I think G.K. Chesterton is really on to something here. The people who contradict the world in the sense of who carry the cross, that's a contradiction to the human desire for a comfortable life, isn't it? That you have to actually decide to pick up your cross and carry it, that doesn't feel good. So it's a contradiction. And I think in so many ways, the church teaches us, and certainly we always learn this, on every Friday of the liturgical year, we are reminded that the Friday is a memory of the Good Friday. The Good Friday, we don't call it a bad Friday or a scary Friday or a let's all get nervous Friday. We call it a Good Friday because on that day, the contradiction of the cross won out and Christ himself died on that cross. Why? Because he was defeated? No, because he conquered. What did he conquer? Sin. Sin in my heart, sin in your heart. So let's pray that we can carry our cross as well because those people who do so will become the saints that God is sending to reinvigorate the world with holiness. Let's be those. Signing off from Cyber Sea of Galilee, DSMME.